think I already told you about these. Yeah. They're 65s. Always look for the C5 part number. Once in a while there will be a C, uh, C4 or 64. Right. Yeah. Roof. I think the other side had a little issue with the seam. That's yeah. common. That's why they let them on that letter. Letted them. They were letted here, I believe, and like somewhere in here. Because the body shop pointed it out to me. He touched it up. Probably a little bit around the windows, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's common. It's common. The missing Caliente trim. That's that's too yeah, bad. Yeah, I wish it had a little trim. Well, well my my white one um white one I'm doing with full trim. Everyone was like, oh, I'm doing a same clean copy. You know, leave off the Caliente trim and weld the whole shot. Caliente car. A nice looking car. Right? The Ooh, they were more expensive. Yeah, yeah. The interior and everything on the Calientes was a step right. above. But everyone wants those cyclones. Oh yeah, that was the hot They part. bring big money. Yeah. Big. Yeah, well, I was working a deal with this guy when he rolled up. He really didn't know anything about the car. He got it on trade for something he had bought. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, I was trying to ask him some questions about it. Of course, I, you know, I didn't know a whole lot about it. I was just hoping it was a cyclone in disguise or something. Fat chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the H27 or the whatever. I think it's something 27. I think it's H27. Uh huh. That gives it. That's dead ringer right there. <laughs> yeah, got my 65. The white one does not have the serial number here. Really? It has no serial number up here. Wow. And 64. I looked, and they stamped them here. Uh -uh. Um, it's a real A-cut. I pulled the original motor, four-barrel, nice right. nice carburetor. They're a little hard to find. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, I thought the car had been cut up and right. done something, too. Because all I have is a door tag and a title. And I, told, I asked the body shop guy, look this thing over and see if you can tell. Of course, he stripped it. He would have known. He right. said, nothing there. It was built in August of 64, so I don't know hmm. if they were didn't know what they were going to do, because obviously the 64s were back there. Right. Now, the cows look good. Splash shields look good. Acceptable. They're always undercoated over, so it's not a major deal. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the bumper. They're repop. They're 30 bucks. I think it's 60 bucks a set for the tubes alone. Those bumper reinforcements, and they look good. It's not coming through on the camera, but they're good. The battery box. Yeah, where's that light? That light handy. Look at that and show the. Perforation there. So that's the battery box. Let's see if I can get underneath of it.
I think I've got just about everything covered that I'd be cons that I was, you know, worried about before I came and filmed the interior too much. I mean, the four-speed doesn't look out of place. No, it's kind of weird because yeah. you know, it was about that far back. But maybe the shape of the shifter might put it forward a little more or something. Yeah, it, ben, it's a nice shifter. Yeah, I would imagine it's all factory off of that fair lane, I would imagine. Yeah, see, the fair lane doesn't have the, uh, the little arm. The 65 Mustangs had a little mount. Yeah. Because I think they were shared with these cars. Yeah. You know what, though? I know um, my father had a 66 Cyclone. That was a family car when we grew up. And it bolted down. I think it had it was a chrome round handle and it bolted down and had the re reverse release on it. The sure it was up, okay, it was lock reverse. Out. Yeah, lockout, yeah. reverse lockout. Yeah, they were all different. That Thanks. That um is probably an aftermarket shifter. I bought a top loader with with that style Hurst, probably not the exact same Hurst, but it won't look out of place leaving it. The actual original would be just a little, you right. probably seen them, just a little tube yeah. comes off, comes yeah. around. It's got two bolts in it. Not, if you want to bang gears, it's probably not your shifter right. you want to use. <laughs> but it, uh, I gotta say, it doesn't look, doesn't look that bad. Now I can tell. I think just moved it right there. That's not even a compliment. I don't know if that's yeah. a comment gas tank. Uh-huh. Yeah, See how it's all set? But I think it curved up and went out. I think they did on these. Yeah, they should have gone straight down. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not sure that's, I mean... That's weird. I can't. I mean, that's part of the floor, this thing. Yeah, well, it fits. Maybe it is. I didn't realize it bent like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. You would know better than I would. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that it would be kind of weird. To... Well, I got a tank. The reason I I thought it wasn't a common tank, it's pretty common because I was sold. I bought a new gas tank from uh, Falcon Parts, and the catalog said for a 65 common and 64. 64 had a shorter trunk. Wow. Yeah. And the 64 probably had the same uh, inlet center placed, uh -huh. but the tank was rotated and they cut two gallons out of the capacity. And it's shorter this way, or one way it's shorter than, and it won't fit. Hmm. And I, I sort of went went around with the guy, the son. The old man's the one who knew, and the son was like, ah, I don't know, dad's pretty, you know. and uh, met him at Carlisle, yeah. and everything was a different story. I said, because I talked to the same guy again, I said, uh, here's the issue. He turns to dad, dad said, or he says, dad, what he's saying true? And he came over and I said, gave him my story, and he's like, well, yeah, yeah, that's right. So I said, well, I want a refund, and they gave me a refund. They treated me right. I won't, won't say anything bad about them. They corrected their catalog, right. but it happens. Yeah. There's just those yeah, a little... Lot just think that, a lot of people think Falcon and Mustang are Yep. The, the Mustang is... I've found the Mustang is a little, I think, wider. Yeah, even one. the engine compartment. Yeah, the engine the compartment, yeah. Different. That looks like it's got some... Edge doesn't look. I think this, that's standard. Mm. 
now it looks I don't see any perforations. It's probably some kind of finishing. Yeah, she's all solid. Yeah, that's the way they she put a skim coat on it or something. Yeah, that's what they did. They just didn't block sand it or something. Didn't finish it right. Yeah. It just I know the little found where the lid is. Yeah. <laughs> True where the crack is. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, the trunk lock works. It, it should no, it don't. It doesn't need screwdriver to open it. Oh, okay. You just stick in there and turn it. And I can, yeah. That's what I, I'm saying. I think I told you don't don't ever give that up. Yeah. It's um it's got a solenoid up inside, but I haven't messed with the wire yet. That's no big deal. Switch under the, a button under the dash. Yeah. I'm about ready to go. I'm being eaten alive here. Yeah, they get crazy. That is even. something. Well, this is their last night out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're extra hungry. <laughs> they're partying, yeah. Yeah. Partying like there won't be a tomorrow because <laughs> there won't. I'm gonna have to turn that off. All right. I think uh, I think I got enough to enough information to go over this with a friend and uh, make a decision. <laughs>